everyone, Kevin here. So, I'm going to install this uh, $40 catch can I got off of uh, Amazon. You'll see it's one of my other videos I talked about that I wanted to try. Um, so, I'm going to show you what I did. I did a little bit of mods to it. Not much, just a couple little things, nothing major. Um, so, the inside, obviously, that's just from the anodizing some blue dye. So, in here, there's a little... Uh, baffle so in the baffle what I did is I went and got some stainless steel wool basically what it is and you'll see there's lots of uh, anti-seize on this uh, if you buy one you'll see why you put anti-seize on it so what I did is I got some stainless steel wool I folded it up with stainless steel wool packed it all in there basically in the baffle that they provide and obviously i'm sure that's why they made it so it comes apart so you can fill it up with some so i put some stainless steel wool in it the reason i did that is it'll help filter through the oil when it's coming through the bottom creates a little more of a, a dripping action i'm sure but basically what i did is i stole it off one of uh, the major guys who build these uh, catch cans and I just took their idea and added it to mine and if you want to see why I'll just show you a picture probably right about here of uh, what I did and who I stole it from and I'll make sure I take all their names out and everything so I don't get in trouble and that's all I did put that stainless steel wool in there and there you go and that's on the inlet side all right so you just tighten it up in there. There you go. So on here it has mine has a comes with the option of a breather. I'm not putting it on, but there's a gasket in here already, so that's sealed up. But I'm not going to put the breather on. And so what I did is after I got it apart, because it was really tight trying to get this thing apart when I received it, um, I just put a little anti seize on here for the gasket as well. So we'll tighten that up what we can right now. Well, it's easy. That's there. Okay. So and then I ended up having to make a little bracket for my car. Um, so that's kind of what it looks like. If you want to know the measurements for some reason, you want to build one. Uh, grab a little tape here. So it's about two inches by two inches to the inside to the bend about three inches there so show you the tape so you can figure it out about two inches there this is sticking out a little longer than I need but again that's about three and a quarter inches there okay and you'll have to position the holes as you need it if you want to do that it does come with a bracket in this kit that you can use I don't know where you'd mount it but it comes with a kit there's a bracket in there there's a bunch of extra clips. There's the nipples. So forth. Okay, so let's get to it. So I got the nipples for the size of the line that I'm going to use. I'm using a 3 8 line. It's just a 3 8 gas line. Um, like a Goodyear 3 8 gas line for a car. And that's what I'm going to be using on here. Put a little uh, pipe thread on the threads. And then we'll get it installed and we'll start doing this. So put some thread pipe threads on. So I'm just going to grab a wrench here, just tighten them up with a wrench. Okay, and they're tightened on. Okay, and this little piece here, just so you know, it's a little dipstick. Just so you don't have to take the can off to check to see if it's full. has a couple little lines here, here, and here. So you can just see how, how much oil is actually in your catch can before you take it off. Okay, so on the bracket I built, I have to put this on before I install it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little Loctite. Just a little blue Loctite that I'm going to put on it. Just put on the threads. I always put a little blue Loctite on a lot of the stuff I do. 
It's just the way I prefer to do it. Okay, so you take the catch can at the back, you drilled a couple holes, and take a little bit of Loctite, just put a drop on there. Okay, so you got them in, just tighten them up a little bit. Because I'm doing this before I install it. Okay, so those are tightened up. So that's what my bracket's going to look like. Right? I got my bracket a little dirty, but try and keep yours a little cleaner. So that's it. I'm going to I'm going to cut away some of this tape cuz I just don't want to see it. So I'm just going to clean it, that up a little bit with a knife. And that's what the bracket is. It's a little long on this side, but I'm not too worried about it. Um but that's it. So that's how the bracket with the catch can looks. Like. Okay, before I run off, I totally forgot. So you get, I bought a couple I bought a couple stainless steel clamps and I have the lines on my car which I'll show you guys that I put on already. I did that part of it. Now I'm going to put these steel stainless steel clamps over these lines when I put them on. I, so I didn't like the ones that came with the kit, so so I bought another set of them. These ones are stainless steel ones and these are the ones I'm going to be using on it. As well, you're going to need to uh, get a metric bolt, right? So this is a 10 millimeter bolt. If you do this style of bracket, um, you're going to do a 10 millimeter bolt, and that's what goes into the engine. This little this little notch I did here, it's because of the bracket I designed. There's the uh, vacuum line that's right there. So I just cut this away because I don't want it to rub on my vacuum line. I don't want a chance of wearing it away at all. So that's why I did that. But you'll do your bracket however you want to do your bracket. Okay, so let's go get this installed. I'll show you how it's done.